welcome back to another energy weekly video i smudged the space i pulled some cards and i have your weekly message ready for you now this time it's for september 19th through the 25th underneath we have the king of cups which was clarified by the ace of swords so something about balancing our emotions um, being authentic being truthful um, having clarity around our emotions so this feels like some um, processing has been going on dead center we have judgment so this is about being at a crossroads as a at a decision point and i see that also reflected in the two of swords there's something that don't that we don't yet know about a situation but clarity is coming in this week so let's see what else we have the hermit is showing up here and we also have the Six of Wands. Together, they're telling me that um, you have spent some time um, seeking your own wisdom, um, learning more about yourself, becoming more self-aware of your gifts, your purpose. Awareness is showing up here in the Judgment card in the center again. And the Hermit is about doing this sort of like inner self-study and then bringing it out into the world when we're ready, right? Shining your light. Where is it? There it is. Shining your light for others to see. And the Six of Wands is about recognition. It's about being seen um, as somebody who has gone through um, some shadows. This week we have the autumnal equinox happening at the end of the week. That also is the beginning of Libra season. So in that transition, what we're being asked to do is to, um, while we spent the whole summer bringing light into situations, now is a time to um, acknowledge our shadows as a part of us. And so that's what's showing up here is this level of awareness, being aware of our emotions, being aware of our thoughts. Um, there is a bit of stuck energy here. Like I said, there's something we don't know that will be clarified by the end of the week. But in the meantime, it's really feeling like there's been a, a significant investment of time or resources into something. Uh, but that things aren't necessarily feeling like they're moving forward. I would just like to recall the message uh, we got at the beginning of September from the Illuminated Love Oracle, which was savor the completion. Maybe it's just that there isn't um, any action to take, to follow up on. Um, it looks like that investment had been made, the action has been taken, and now we're in a place where we're trying to be more grounded. And um, yeah, you know, it's, just, it's been Virgo season. So we're looking back at everything that we have done, assessing what worked and what didn't, and then Kind of like making a plan or visualizing, fantasizing about what this next chapter can bring. It is calling for perseverance, right? Where there, there, some people may feel a little burnt out on something. Um, and that's maybe why things feel stuck. Because if you can't, um, if you don't feel like you have agency because you're tired or just have become just inundated with this project, this situation, um, this inner healing, right? If, if, if you're feeling a little burnt out on <laughs> spiritual work, for example, and your connection because of what you are discovering about your shadow or what is being, I don't want to say discovering, but you know, this time of year is always bring, kicking that stuff up. Mercury retrograde is happening. It's a pattern disruptor. We're learning a lot about what makes us tick, um, what inspires us. And I feel like that's the real invitation here. Libra is bringing diplomacy, harmony, balance. It rules the seventh house of partnerships. Um, so we may start to begin, we may start to begin, we may start to frame ourselves in the context of our relationships. Libra wants to seek balance in all things. I'm getting a sense that there is, from, 
from these cards right here. Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. That there's something in your life or that's around you, something that you already have that you are unaware of how it is um, manifesting in your life. You're unaware of the value that it has in your life. And so while it's not reading as a missed opportunity, it is reading as like something that is ripe with potential. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, we see this person looking at um, their garden. They had put in the time, the resources, they planted the seeds. Now they're taking a moment to connect with the earth and see what grows. And that's where I feel we're at. We're seeing what's growing, what's working, what's not working. We're learning a lot about ourselves, our emotions, and what is true for us. In some ways, I can interpret this reading as not being aware of your influence um, on others. And I don't see the King of Wands here, but it's almost like it's... This, this sort of vibes like you create the change you want to see in the world. It is about being versus doing here. There's actually nothing left to do right now. This is about savoring the completion. As I said, we're in a period of waiting to see how our consistent effort will lead to life manifest. The queen, she lives the manifestation. She's, this is comfort. This is abundance. And the Knight of Pentacles represents the work that has been done, the consistency. So this is a lot. What you um, see is what you get. No, scratch that. This is a lot like you will get out of the situation what you put into it. Have you been committed to your goals? Have you been disciplined? Um, it's asking you to hold out just a little longer while you do these things. And something will come and turn the wheel. Some clarity will come and turn that wheel. It is going to be Libra season after all. That's justice. That's karmic energy. Which, which is what you put into it is what you get out of it. Follow through with the commitments and the things that you say are important to you things that are important, big sort of like life goals in terms of the future, in terms of your wealth and abundance. There's a page of pentacles at the end. There's still more to learn about how the world works. We're learning from this opportunity. This, this stillness that's here is an opportunity to learn more about yourself. Embrace the shadows. It may feel difficult because what's missing is sort of like that best friend energy showing up together, celebrating. This tells me that there can be a little bit more inspiration. We need to nurture the element of spirit, the element of fire and the element of spirit. I gotta be honest, I'm struggling right now to find a message to wrap up this reading. And I feel like that is also what's here in the cards, that something has, you've put time into something and now it's about savoring the completion, but we're trying to figure out how this can feel complete. It's not that we're necessarily striving for perfection, Although I do see the Ten of Pentacles here about there, there being some sort of conclusion. Judgment is also about concluding something. It's about closing a chapter and starting a new one. It's about graduation, development. And what I can say about that is that there are not always going to be succinct chapters in life that feel like, you know, certain events can feel like they're the beginning of a new era of life, a new chapter. Like, you know, we can say very distinctly, yes, there was before this and after this. 
before COVID, after COVID. Before red hair and after red hair. <laughs> but beyond that, like they couldn't, they can be superficial like that um, and have little meaning, you know, besides being a reference point. Um, but the opposite seems to be true here where there's a lot of depth and substance um, but nothing by which to mark it by or it's not quite right it's like it's you're looking for a 3d manifestation of it but it's not how you pictured it or it's not how you um, envisioned it would um, turn out what you thought you were building like something else was built I'll just say that it's like um, doing all the math to figure out where the painting should hang on the wall, where it would be dead center. And you put it up and you're like, no, it's not quite right. It's like that. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't look quite right for it to be precise. And maybe that's not even truly attainable. So we have to find, especially with Libra coming, it's Libra is all about aesthetics. Find the visual center instead of the actual center. The visual center we find by feeling, by observing and making small adjustments. There isn't like a lot of action to be done here, just small adjustments to find where this picture is going to go on the wall, because it's going to go on the wall anyway and it'll be done. But where are you putting it for yourself? You know, it could be physical, but I think also because we have a lot here about Mm. <laughs> regulating emotions and operating with truth it has to do something with that it has to do something with like how are you associating your feelings with what you believe to be true or how, how are you harnessing truth to reflect how you feel or to get to know your emotions better this is the placement of the um, integration of this inner work referenced by the hermit. This was a deep reading, y'all. I don't know what else to say except for thanks for watching. Thanks for being here to witness the weekly energy with me. Savor the completion. Be very present in everything that's going on in your life right now and realize that you are exactly where you need to be. Remind yourself that you're exactly where you need to be and that the time you have spent in whatever this you were investing in, the time you have spent putting resources, time, and energy into that will lead you to the next new cycle. I just don't see it happening very quickly. I feel like there needs to be perseverance on your part, um, more creativity, inspiration, willpower, find the motivation to keep going, ask questions. If you want to check out the new moon video, I'll have it posted sometime after this one. If it's up, it'll be right here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.